Hey, I'm not even going to front on you guys, man. The Air Jordan 1 Royal Reimagines look 10 times better on feet. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full breakdown review and on feet with three different pants, a couple of lacing styles for you guys to check out. So go ahead, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video over these Royal Reimagined Air Jordan 1s, man. What's going on YouTube, man? Thanks for tapping into today's video. You guys already see the thumbnail and the title. You probably want to get straight to that on feet, but before we get into it, I'm gonna go ahead and break down the Air Jordan 1 Roy Rear It's a quick little breakdown, quick little review over a couple of details on the sneaker. And like I said, of course, the on feet. If you guys are new to the channel right now, what I need you to do, man, go ahead and subscribe right now. Hit the notification bell for your boy. We almost there to give away a free pair of Air Jordan 11 Gratitudes. So go ahead and follow the giveaway rules, which are over on my IG, the pin post on my Instagram, which is tagged down below. So if you want to win a free pair of Air Jordan 11 Gratitudes, go ahead and tap in to my IG and see all the giveaway rules. And if you guys watched yesterday's video, I'll put you guys on to some merch that is upcoming to drop for these Royal Reimagined. Shouts out to Outrank Brand. You guys already know, man, every single drop that I've been showing y'all Outrank been having some dope pieces to go with it. And if you're a minimalistic guy like myself, then Outrank is the way to go. Get you a nice, you know what I'm saying, quality t-shirt, get some nice joggers, hats, or whatever you need for whatever specific drop they are doing a collaboration on. So go ahead and tap into the latest for the Royal Reimagines, the tea tough the sweater tough, the hat tough, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna tag that down below and use my discount code, the vintage, to save you 10% off your entire purchase. All right, guys, here you have a man. The Royal Reimagined Joints, a lot of people talk so much trash about these things prior to the release. You know what I'm saying? We still a couple days early before they do come out, but I'm super interested in seeing how the release is gonna go. They were sitting on JD Finish Line EA, so that kind of indicates a couple of things. These things might be sitting everywhere, but again, you just never know. Not a lot of people have JD Finish Line accounts. Nobody, not everybody has a points to afford to get uh, EA for these joints, so you just never know. So don't take take that with a grain of salt. But when we get to the release date, we're gonna actually see what these joints are hitting for, see what's happening on Sneakers at, see what's happening on these third-party sites like Golden Stock X. And we kind of gauge and see how actually people were feeling these Royal Reimagined. You guys can go ahead and comment down below. Let me know how you feel about them. Made a video yesterday talking about these things. I got a double up pair, and I kind of want to touch up on how people are saying that these are the best Air Jordan ones of the year. I highly disagreed. I think the Palominos taste the cake for me as far as the best Jordan ones of the year. But there were people commenting on yesterday's video saying that these Royal Reimagines are the Air Jordan one of the year, man. Hey, I can't, I, I don't know what to say, bro. Yeah, y'all put your honest opinions in the comment section. All right, first things first, man, let's go ahead and check out the box. Of course, you got your blue Nike around the entire box, man. You guys see it, and it does come with an extra set of blue laces. Me, myself, man, I have the OG pair of Royals, which we will show you guys here in a second. Quick little comparison, um, but I never rock the blue laces in my OG Royals, so I'm definitely not going to mix it up and do it on a reimagined Royals either, but you do have an extra set of blue laces if you want to go all crazy with the blue They are suited for you guys in this drop an official size tag reads Air Jordan Retro High OG Black Royal Blue and White and of course I went with a size 90 things, but it kind of fit a little bit snug So I wish I did go up a half a size So if you can't swing it you can get you a half a size up definitely do that I'm telling y'all you won't go wrong going up a half a size And here we are again, man. Check them out. You guys see bro. They hit us with the royal blue with this nice suede new buckish material kind of get some nice brush strokes very very mild brush strokes i must say these things are definitely going to collect some dust especially when we get over to the actual new buck portion of the sneaker which is like behind the nike swoosh and around the toe box this is like a true you know what i'm saying new buck material that we do get on the toe box and everywhere you see black on the sneaker man even on the back of it right here kind of got that nice new buck suede is vibe but it's a little bit more rugged you know same material when you do get to the blue areas like around the wings logo and of course the nike swoosh on these joints taking a quick look at the actual toe box bro you guys see it man nice nice quality i'm loving the vibes as far as the quality execution wise you guys know they messed up the reimagined threes they 
jack them things up as far as elephant print. But I must say, man, having, you know what I'm saying, two other pairs of the Royals in hand, the Reimagined Royals, that the quality was pretty consistent. It's not perfect, but it has been pretty consistent with all three pairs that I have had in hand. I got two size nines and a size 10. So if you guys do, you know what I'm saying, want to get a pair, you strike out, definitely got you guys for retail. Set your boy up on IG. So this is a pair we just did our own feed on. You guys see, man, got the all royal blue outsoles. And they didn't switch up the midsoles, man. They kept it white, not an off-white vibe. But I am interested in seeing how these possibly would have looked with the same lost and found spin on a royal pair. I think it would have been perfect. I think the outcome of the sneaker would have been a lot better. I think a lot more people would gravitate towards it and went crazy on them. Because people went crazy over the lost and found. Air Jordan ones. I did want to point out the cut of the sneaker, man. When I do grab the OG Royal uh, Air Jordan ones, you guys kind of see it's a slight little difference. I don't know if it's just the material or how the light is actually hitting it, but it almost seems like this is like an Air Jordan one mid cut. And a lot of people have been mentioning it. And as I look at the pair, it does kind of look like an Air Jordan one mid from a distance, man. Of course, you guys see the all black wings logo right here and it's spinning around to the tongue. You got your blue Nike Air. It's gonna be some dust collector. So if you can put them in the drop front, closing things up or put them back in the box. But one thing I do want to say that these might actually bleed onto the paper. You know, when you get suede pairs and stuff like that, you start getting that, that dye that bleeds into the paper. So me personally, if I was you, I would definitely throw these things in the drop front. So you ain't got to worry about the bleeding of the dye all over the tissue paper inside the original box. And bam, man, check these beauties out, man. The OG Royal Air Jordan ones, man. I'm loving them. And a quick little side-by-side -side comparison. Actually, let me grab the other sneaker, give you guys a nice side-by-side -side comparison. You see, bro. It's a slight difference in the blues, but that's only because this is a suede pair. This is all leather, and the leather on the OG Royals is really, really good. I ain't gonna cap, and I haven't worn these in a long, long time, so you can kind of see where some dust uh, they creasing up, and it looked like the midsole was about to start yellowing as well. But again, quick little side-by-side -side comparison, man. You guys can check them out, bro. Uh, let me know which one you taking. Like I told you guys, I always rock them with the black laces. Uh, man, these just a beautiful pair, bruh. A pair that you gotta have in a collection, man. I don't know when the next time we might see these, given the fact that we just got the Royal Reimagined pair uh, that's coming out here with the next couple of days, man. But here you go, a little quick side-by-side -side comparison, bruh, of the two. No-brainer for me, the OG takes the cake. And again, man, I don't know what it is, bruh, but like I said, this looks like a mid, and for some reason, this just no-brainer looks like an OG high. I don't know what it's about, but again, it might just because it does have suede all over this OG colorway. I don't know what it did, bro. So that pretty much wraps up the review and the comparison. Again, let me know down below in the comment section, man, if you will be securing a pair on the release date here within the next couple of days. Uh, me, myself, bro, I already got a pair. Don't need no more. But again, we're going to come here on Saturday, do a quick little recap, talking about how this Royal Reimagine went. We've seen what happened with the Reimagine 3s. We see what happened with the Lost and Found 1s. Let's see how these Royal joints amount up to the whole Reimagine series. I appreciate all the support, man. Thank you guys for tapping in. If you are new to the channel right now, what I need everybody to do is sub up, go crazy down below in the comment section. I'm gonna try my best to respond to everybody's comment, but of course, I read every single last comment just to see how you guys are feeling about whatever topic we are talking about. Leave a huge like before you slide out of today's video, man. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into this clean on feet over the air Jordan 1 Royal Reimagined guys. Peace.